Hello YouTubers. Um, just wanted to show a couple of the babies. Not that they've grown up a little bit, shed a couple times. Um, today's actually feeding day, so I figured while I'm going to have them out and cleaning cages and stuff, I'd go ahead and show them off. Uh, they're still quite a bit bitey, but they're not too bad. This is one of the jag males. He's, uh, he shed twice. He's actually looking pretty damn good, if I do say so myself, and, well, I do. So there's one of them. Alright, now this is a, another male jag. I like his coloration too. Like I said, I've never seen such a diverse coloration in a clutch before. I mean, granted, this is the first clutch that I've hatched out myself, but just in what I've seen online, I haven't seen uh, quite a diverse clutch of, uh, of babies, just in the difference in colorations and stuff like that. Alright, this is the first of the Jag females. This is the one we called Kink, or Quasimodo. Um, as you can tell, she's uh, kinked up pretty bad. But she has eaten, and she does poo. So, as of this time, we're just going to see how she does. Um, the kink in her back has actually gotten quite a bit worse um, so we'll see how it goes um, this last time she had trouble shedding as you can I don't know if you can see it or not right there where she didn't quite get all of it off of her tail so we'll see how it goes um, if it gets too bad then, uh, then I'll have to make a decision I really don't want to make on whether we should uh, do what's best for her but uh, as long as she's eating and pooing and shedding and things like that then oop, see they can smell the food um, then we're gonna leave her alone and see how she does so but that's her alright this is another one of the female jags she, uh, when she came out of the egg, <coughs> kind of hoping she would be, uh, is this the one? Yeah, I think this is the one. I thought was going to be possibly exanthic because she, when she came out of the egg, she was nothing but a kind of a white color where the light parts are, and then the darker parts were almost black. So, so well, maybe she'll be an exanthic, but no. But she does look pretty good. That's, that's that one. Here's another female jag. She, um, this one may be sold, but he's still got to put a deposit down on it. Um, see? There you go, biting. You no know, need to bite. Alright, here's another female jag. It's interesting how it goes to a kind of a reddish color down towards her tail. But there were a lot of red colors in a, in a lot of these babies. Um, especially the Jag siblings, which I'll get to here in a minute. But, there's another one. Alright, here's another female Jag.
All right, now on to the Jag siblings. Now, some people ask, what's the difference between a Jag and a Jag sibling? Well, the Jag is a color pattern mutation, um, and a Jag sibling is a snake that was out of the same clutch that is not a Jag. Now, you can't classify them as a normal um, unless your parents were pure coastal um, because the JAG gene follows the coastal gene or is on the coastal uh, bloodline so if uh, if you have a JAG that is mixed with anything else so whether it's a jungle JAG, Erangia JAG, uh, Brettles JAG, anything like that then you can't truly call it a normal because it has coastal genes in it somewhere because the JAG parent had coastal in it in order to be a JAG. So, anyway, this is one of the JAG siblings. This one is actually sold. All it has to do is eat one more time and it's ready to go. Um. <laughs> All right, now this is a Jag sibling female that I am going to hold on to. Um, I like her red coloration, and if you can see it, if she'll cooperate. Oop, hold still. Ow, stop biting. Stop biting. Stop it. Are you, how are you going to hold on and bite at the same time? Anyway, you can kind of see the stripe that goes all the way down her back. Um, I'm hoping that that will turn out to be genetic because if I can get that into um, a jag so that you end up with a striped jag instead of a banded jag, that would be pretty cool. But let me see if she'll go ahead and eat. All right, there's another Jag sibling female. Okay, this is another Jag sibling, but sadly this one is showing signs of neurological disorder. You can see how she's twisting herself all up. Um, if I can get her to do it without her going completely crazy on me, um, if you can get her to sit still, you can flip her over. Well, she's actually writing herself this time, um, but she would, uh, if you flipped her over on her back, she would stay on her back, which is very unusual for snakes. Uh, most of the time they will continue to turn all the way back around. But hopefully she will straighten up and continue to uh, do well. Um, if, uh, if she doesn't eat continuously or whatever, then you know we may have to figure something out. But for now, she's, uh, she's doing okay. I don't think she's eaten yet though, so we'll see how she turns out. Uh, and she just pooed on me. Yay. Mm. Alright, this is a, the last of the female Jag siblings. <clears throat> you can kind of tell which ones have eaten and eaten well and which ones haven't. Um, ow. The ones that, uh, that haven't really eaten are still kind of... Ow! Smaller. And um, hopefully he's hungry, biting like that. Or she's hungry. Um, and quite a bit skinnier so hopefully they'll all eat today all right this is the first of the male jag siblings and he looks like he wants to eat my finger so i'm not going to hold on to him for too long All right, here's another one of the male Jag siblings. All 
All right, now this is one of my favorite male Jag siblings. Um, he's got really, really good color. And I'm not saying you'll be able to tell exactly what he's going to look like as an adult because their color changes every shed um, pretty much throughout their life. Um, So, it's hard to say, but he's starting out looking really, really good. So, we'll see how it does. Alright, here's another one, another male. Now, up until this last time he shed, he didn't look like a jag, but now he's looking an awful lot like a jag. Before, he was pretty much dark all over. He didn't have any of the light colors or the bandings. Well, I mean, well, he did have the banding, but just not like this, so... All I gotta do is make sure that everybody eats, which some have eaten so far and others haven't eaten at all. So you can definitely tell the difference in size and everything else. So we'll see. Alright, another male Jag sibling. Alright, now this is the last of the male Jag siblings. A little feisty. Still got good color. Um, this is probably my second favorite of the Jag siblings. It's a shame both of them are males. But it is what it is. Well, I say a shame because if from a breeding standpoint you want more females than males. Because, uh, Females are the ones that lay the eggs. You can breed multiple males to, or I'm sorry, uh, you can breed one male to multiple females, but you can only have one female. I mean, you can breed multiple males to one female, but doesn't mean that you'll get anything extra out of it, so.